Hey, Neil from Tango Uniform here, and today we're going to talk about the Echo Zulu Castle Nut System. The easy way for you to quickly, safely, and consistently stake the castle nut on your AR. So step one, which we've already done, would be uh, putting our straight wall staking tip in our automatic center punch. If you didn't purchase it already installed, go ahead and get that put together. Step two is going to be putting grease on our components and then beginning to install the components. Now you don't have to go absolutely crazy on the grease. A little bit on the ends of the threads as you assemble it will push that grease down into the remaining threads. The other place where you want to make sure you put a little grease is going to be on the flats between the castle nut and the end plate. Again, we don't want those staking notches to dig or gall on there. We want it to move freely. So uh, buffer retainer in there. I've tightened this until it's retaining it. And then I, I come past right there. So I'm holding my buffer retainer in, grease on my takedown pin detent spring. Slide that guy in there, razor blade, push that guy in, slide my end plate over, and before I even pull the razor blade out, I'm, I'm able to get that end plate in there. Visually confirm that you don't have any coils of that spring between the end plate and the receiver. Hand tighten that guy down, and you're in the home stretch. Next, we're gonna go ahead and torque the castle nut down. I like to put the flat side of the wrench towards the receiver, slide it on there, make sure that all three teeth are engaged. I like to use my non-dominant hand to pinch this together to make sure it stays in place. There you go. So now that guy's properly torqued on there and we can move on to staking. I would recommend trying to stake them at opposite sides. Uh, if you do them up next to each other, you're kind of pushing the castle nut off on one edge. So put them ideally at three and nine o'clock if we're looking at this like a clock. So the other critical thing is that when you're putting either of the staking guides on, that you fully engage it in the wrench notches and it should come flush with the back of the castle nut. It's important that all of the teeth fully seat in and the way you can tell that is by looking to see that those tabs are flush with the back of the castle nut. Spring-loaded center punch. Slide that guy in there. There's a little bit of wiggle to it. So which direction do I want it to point as I'm staking it for the first time? I want to angle it with the point towards the receiver. I want to have as much material there as I can to deform into the staking notch. So angle this towards the receiver. And there you go. Pull your staking guide off. Take a look at your notches. This is my opportunity that if this is a little off center of the staking notch for whatever reason, then I can take my punch and I can angle it in the direction that I want it to go. I can drive the metal in the stake in the direction I want to go. So I want this to go a little counterclockwise till it's center with the notch. And then, once I have it dead center in the notch, then I'm going to angle it so that I'm driving metal into the staking notch. There you go. Done. Safe, quick, and consistent. Thank you so much for purchasing one of our Echo Zulu Castle Nut systems. Please tag us on your social media of choice to let us know how it's working out for you. Again, I'm Neil for Tango Uniform, and remember that luck favors the prepared.